Hello world, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great and you are taking good care of yourselves. Uh, for those who are still new on my YouTube channel and those who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. Um, today I want to address this issue. Oh, issue. Yeah. <laughs> English is not my language, so kindly don't mind my English. Um, I want to address this issue of our women women who date are bad boys women who date thugs women who date arm robbers women who date men who they know they are so dangerous in society women who date men are uh, who they beat them daily there are some women who are being beaten daily or weekly if a week passes this man has not beat you is not maybe is not there is not in the house but whenever this guy is in the house he has to beat you and uh, women who are dating men who are of no use to them. This man doesn't pay house rent. This man doesn't uh, pay for uh, your children's school fees. This man does nothing to you. He's just there as a man. The only time, um, the only time that this man sees good in you is when, uh, or this man when, the only time which, which um, he will call for you or he will need you around him, it's when... He has a problem, maybe he has been arrested, he is involved in an accident or he needs money or he needs something from you. That's when this man will, will be like coming to you, trying to beg you to borrow some things from you. But apart from that, when he doesn't need anything, he just treats you like trash. Or apart from treating you like trash, he does nothing. Because there are some men who don't, they don't beat you, they are not thieves, they don't do bad things, but they, they're just, they are like picture. You are the one to struggle with the kids, to pay the kids school fees. Their, their thing is just to stay there and do nothing. Just to feast you at night or wherever they want sexual favors from you, it's when they, they smile at you. But apart from that, they don't do anything for you or for, your, for the kids you, you have together. And uh, so many women who are in these relationships, especially who have kids by these men, they lie that I'm in this type of relationship or I'm still with this man for the kids. Why are you lying? You are in this relationship because you love this man. Which kids are you talking about? What type of a mother wants his kids to see how this man is beating her? What type of a mother wants her daughter or uh, the son? To be, if you stay with this type of a man, your son, will, you might um, grow up and copy his characters. If you stay with this type of a man, your daughter will see that it's okay for a woman to stay in a bad relationship. It's okay for you to be in a violent relationship. You are grooming, um, you are, it's, it's like this man's character is grooming this kid. This bad, pathetic character you are allowing in your house. Because this man is performing these bad characters. You are there. You are not doing anything. Your kids are coping it. Then after they grow like, like this man. Of which is so bad. So stop uh, saying that you are staying in this type of relationships because of your kids. Say I'm staying in this relationship because I'm digmatized. I'm in love with this guy. Not because of the kids. This man doesn't pay school fees. This man does bad things. In front of the kids, which kids are you saying that uh, you are staying because of them? It's so sad and it's so bad when I see uh, some women staying in this type of relationships and they say they are staying there because of the kids. You are staying there because of your own sexual favors or because of your stupidity, not because of, of the kids. Right? And uh, there is this situation you are dating maybe a thug or you are dating a man who has bad, bad uh, scandals. Whenever this man is arrested, you go and bail him out. Whenever this man is arrested, you go and bail him out. Do you know what? One day when ba a big thing will happen, this man will do, uh, <laughs> this man, maybe one day he will be involved in a very huge scandal. Believe, it, believe me or not, no police will go to this man's um, father or mother's house or brother's house or sister or cousin to look for him they will come to you because before the police start their investigation they look they check whom does this man stays with 
whether a woman or his friend that uh, they think or they put like that you are the first accomplice so for before you wake up um in that dream of fake love or stupid love you are in kindly try to check your future you bail this man every day you bail this man every day where are his people are you trying to be his parent why are you being a parent to a grown up man and furthermore his people won't even acknowledge you that you are doing uh, you are making efforts to see something nice from their son or to do something good for, uh, for their son all they see they will be saying that you are eating you are eating or you are you are squandering money the money which he steals or he does whatever uh, he's squandering it with you that's why it's your, it's your responsibility to bail him it's your responsibility to take him out from that poli uh, police station or wherever it uh, he has been taken to if this man is this type of men have problems let their family come first If their families, their fathers, their mother, their siblings, they don't come to bail them out, don't rush there to do that bullshit. I'm telling you, one day he will die. He will be killed in that stupidity things he's doing. You know what? His people will say it's because of you that's why he did what and what and what. They have forgotten that you have been bailing this man. They have forgotten that you are not taking care of you are not taking care of the kids. They have forgotten the stress this man was taking you through. All they think or all they remember is that our son was a thief because of the wife he married. He was stealing because he wanted to take care of the family. They will not want to know that it's you who was doing everything. It's you who was taking care of the kids, play, uh, paying school fees, paying house rent. The only thing which he brings on the table is, babe, where are you? You know I'm arrested. I mean this, uh, this and this um, police station. Come and bail me out. Oh, uh, uh, my bail has been postponed. I'm in this jail. Will you come and visit me? Can you look for people? Some women even go as far as uh, putting their properties in a Shylock or whatever it is to bail this man. And then at the end of the day, this man come to disappoint you. You then you go into depression or some they don't even go to depression. They just go to zero ground. Your money is gone. Your time is gone. Everything you've been working for because of this man is gone. It's he's either killed or if he's not killed, is uh, he has disappointed you. Gone to another woman after maybe he changes or his uh, his uh, how do I say it? Or his situation has become better. He goes to another woman. You'll die with uh, depression if you continue taking care um, of this type of men. And men who beat uh, women who live with men who beat them. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for yourself to die? Who will help you? Because after you die, then mm, your world is gone. Because of stupid love. Because of stupid men. Because of your stupid head. You have no, you you didn't even think of getting out of this thing. You didn't even look forward. You didn't even thought of your future. You didn't even uh, thought, uh, think of your children. You didn't even put yourself first. You you placed a man first, and then after this man, then maybe it's your kids or whatever it is. Then you the last. Don't do this, please, my dear women. We women, we have, uh, we have been given this heart to endure everything. Everything which, some men can't endure everything. Imagine you cheating on a man. He will leave you there and there. But when this man cheats on you, you'll forgive him. Imagine you being arrested because you've stolen something. In fact, his family members, they will do a campaign for this relationship to die. But you... The only thing which you'll do, you will be hiding this thing from your family. You'll be hiding this, uh, whatever the way this man is treating you from the people they love you. All, in fact, you'll be a pathological liar covering for this man every now and then. Whenever you come with the black eye, oh, I fell down. Oh, I was doing this. Whenever this man is arrested, oh, it was a uh, mistaken identity. He was this, he was that. Until something big uh, happens and then people know the real truth. That's when you start explaining yourself, explaining yourself. Some people, even their family members have been trying to tell them to stop being there for this type of men. Even some family members have gone as far as, as creating fake messages, uh, 
doing fake things for these women to see their man are bad. Even showing them real evidence which are there, but these women don't have ears. They still continue with these men. After something big, big has happened is when they wake up from the sleep which uh, they were sleeping. I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking about something I was in. I'm talking from experience, guys. I told you, if you check very well um, or on my uh, YouTube, I don't know how to say the profile, or I don't know how to call it. I've written, I've been vlogging about, uh, a little about my life. Little about my experiences. Even on my previous videos. You guys, kindly, whenever you see a man, maybe he's not beating you, He's, uh, he's, some men, they don't beat you, they don't treat you bad, but they don't support you in any way. Imagine you having a baby by a man who doesn't even care that you have a child by him, uh, for him. He doesn't care anything about this. The only thing which he will do, he will be calling, how is my son doing? How is my daughter doing? But he will not be there financially. It's not that he doesn't have cash. It's not that uh, he's not able to, but he doesn't want to be there for this baby. And you keep on entertaining them. You keep on saying, oh, um, his father doesn't have, when he has, he will do it. Till when? If he doesn't have, kick him. If you see a man is not responsible or he's not ready to be responsible for your child, don't force him to be there. The child grows up. He or she will see. How the father is treating you. And he will know or she will know. Some women are... How do I say it? Their husband have been doing bad things, have been doing bad things. They know about these bad things, but they are assuming them. Because they believe a man will change. My dear sister, you will never... I'm telling you, you will never change a man who is not ready to change. If this man has decided for his entire life he will be a thief, you will, there is nothing you will do to him that will change him. If this man has decided that he will be a serial cheater, there is nothing you will do to him apart from you fighting other women. Leave my husband alone. Blah, 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 blah. You'll just be crying on messages. In fact, you'll be, when you write a message, you are mad. I don't know you are mad with your phone or you are mad with your husband, but you'll be mad writing a message. Writing uh, to a woman whom you think oh, you, or you know your husband is cheating with. If you know you are married to a serial killer since be, or before you get married to him, he has been cheating. And then you end up getting married to him. Keep up with it. Until he brings you AIDS. That's when your eyes will open. Right? If he has been hiding... Uh, such characters from you then you get married you know this is the type of man I've married my dear sister why can't you move out from it if you're not ready to comply with such type of behaviors why don't you move out from it before even you have a baby for this man by this man or if you ha already have a child live before it, go it gets worse you women you go some, some even go as far as these men go outside, they have kids with other women. You know about it. The only thing you'll be mad for like a week. After one week, you are okay with the situation. You, are, you start begging him. Can you go and bring that your son to this house so that you can be one happy family? <laughs> My dear sister, are you, I don't know how, what to tell you or how, how I can put it together. What are you trying to be? To this man are you trying to be his mom are you trying to be i don't know because even maybe i don't know i don't know how to say it what i can tell you uh, my sisters if you are dating or you are married to this type of man leave him you are dating a man who cannot make you prosper you take uh, 10 steps forward he will take you 20 steps backwards you get married to this type of man, he will never tell you that he has kids outside. Or he had kids before he, you, uh, you met him. Right? You, you, met, you meet him, you fall in love, you start having kids, then later you find out that my man has been having kids. Okay, that's understandable. You'll understand it. But some, how do I say it? But some women, these men have kids, they had kids before meeting them. 
when they are with them, they have kids or are with this woman, and then later they will have kids with other women and you keep up with it. What type of a woman? How, how stupid are you? Why, why don't you have self-worth? Why? You are putting your children into bad, uh, bad situation. Fighting every day. Every day you are, uh, their dad is on news or if he's not on news, their dad is always bad news. You are living with that type of husband. Whenever he's at home, you don't have peace. Why? Because he behaves like he's your father. He behaves like he owns you simply because he paid, I don't know, dowry or he married you. And you stupidly, you become his slave. Don't live with uh, this type of men. If you want to go outside, okay, it's okay. When you live with someone, you have to ask for permission. Oh, my love, oh, sweetheart, I want to go to the salon. Okay. Oh, don't go because there is this and this problem, uh, program. It's understood. But my love, I want to go to the salon. Which salon? Can't you tell that woman to come here to braid you? No, no, no. He doesn't want you to go out. He doesn't want you to uh, tangle with other people. He doesn't want you to be... I don't know. Even your family members. He doesn't want your family members to come to visit you. And this type of men, they do that because they know very well this, your family members or people who are close to you will save you from them. So the first thing they'll do is to cut that, uh, those ties between you and your family members or you and your friends. And you stupidly, you agree on that. How? Why? No man can ever tell me not to go to the salon. No man can ever tell me not to, uh, to stop to talk to my family members. You have not prospered in your life because of a serial cheater, a woman butter, uh, how do I say, a tag of a husband you have. That's why you've been there. Uh, you've seen other women getting married, prospering. Their, marriage, uh, their marriages are good. Even if they are a husband, they are not 100% good. But you hear someone say, oh, we've bought a new car. We've bought a new house. We've done this. Our television, we've changed it. But in your house, instead of changing um, a television because it's old, you change a television because your husband was beating you and then by mistake, he hits the television too. That's when you will change it. In fact, maybe you will change it to second hand or it will take long before you change it. You don't have nice clothes because your husband doesn't allow you to have nice clothes because the way he's cheating on you is the same way he thinks you'll cheat on, uh, on him. So you being stupid, you make yourself look, uh, look old. You are enabling this man to do whatever he's doing to you. And family members, if you know your sister or your... Your mom is in this kind of situation. Kindly, don't give up on them. Don't. And some family members are the reason as to why these women go to this type of relationships. Because um, you treat this woman in a way that the husband knows that he doesn't have a place to go. This husband of a man knows that uh, even if he does anything, you guys cannot do anything to him. Family members sometimes... You leave these women to go into this type of relationships. And women, mothers, sometimes you are, you are the reason as to why your daughters go to this type of relationships. When you don't show them a motherly love, they find, a, how do I say it? They find refuge in this type of men. Because this type of men, they will pretend to love you. For the first, before you fall in love deep, they will hide their character the mo by the moment they, they unleash their dragon of character. You are finished. You can't live. You fall in love. I'm talking about something I was in before. I don't want you guys to come out from such type of a thing when it's too late. I don't. And I don't want, uh, uh, how do I say it, mothers to make uh, their daughters to go, to, uh, to go through the same procedure they went through. You will stop your daughter going to the same uh, through the same procedure you went through by leaving this man. It's not a must for you to have a man. If uh, I leave this relationship, I have to be in that relationship. Who said uh, when you are in a relationship, uh, it's when you gain respect. Can't you just stay alone? You can have a dick even once a month. 
Or you just look uh, for someone whom you don't live together, you, you meet, you do your thing, and life goes on. Is it a must for you to be with a dick in the house? If it's a dick you are looking for. I have seen a women who are respected without living with men. And their respect is still there. Why do you... Imagine when you live with this type of men, you are, your reputation in the society will... If you are living with a thug, even if you won't participate in whatever activities he's doing, but community will put you in the same basket as him. Yes, you are living with a terrorist, you are a terrorist. You are living, and until, unless you leave him, I'm telling you the truth. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are married and you have accepted this drug dealer, you are a drug dealer too. That's how people see it. Even if, um, let's say this man has stopped doing these things, some decide to change. But that reputation will still stay there for some time. Why should your reputation uh, go dirty like that? People, uh, this, why should this man mud your reputation? Because of love. And he's not doing anything for you. And you are still there for love. I want, uh, I want women who live uh, are, or who are in this type of relationship. Can you just try and move out from this relationship? If you can't, just assume this man is dead and you are starting life. Assume this man is dead, there is no one there, he is not even nowhere to be found and you are starting life again. How? You leave this man, change your time, even if it's, if it's to suffer, you won't suffer forever. You won't. This is something which we won't linger there forever. Change your time, town, forget about this man, uh, put yourself in an atmosphere where, which is at least positive for you, for your children. If you don't have uh, kids, it's better. You can even change a country. I'm telling you. Yeah. This type of man will make you, I don't know how to put it. Because I'm so mad, I'm so angry. I'm seeing a certain friend of mine dying in the same, same situation which I was. I don't, I don't know how to say. I've tried to talk uh, to her, I've tried my best. But, oh, I've just left it like that. But I hope, my dear friend, you'll watch this video. I won't mention your name. You'll watch vi this video and you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you. People, uh, some people can advise others through experiences. Me, I'm advising uh, fellow women which, uh, whom are in this type of relationship because of experience. I'm not a professional. I'm talking from experience. This type of men, their families, they won't be there when they are arrested. They will leave you to come and bail this man out. Like the way I've just said a few minutes earlier. After you bail this man out, it's when they will come. Or they'll just leave things like that. After this man is dead, they will come to, to ask for whatever he has left. They have forgotten everything you've been going through. Imagine if your husband is a grand thief or a biggest robber in town. He does something, they know him, he's on CCTV cameras. Do you know magazines or the Gazette? You can be on, even on Gazette. This and this man has been da 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 da. The husband to da da. They put your name. Just like that, your reputation is gone. You are married to a thief. You are a thief. That's what people assume. Even if you're not one of them, why should your reputation be like that? For what reasons should you put up uh, with such kind of characters or with such type of lifestyle? Why are you teaching your son that it's okay to beat a woman? It's okay to, to steal. It's okay to have these bad manners. You're teaching your daughter, it's okay to stay with an abusive man. It's okay to be this, it's okay to be these bad things. You're not teaching them by telling them, but you're teaching them by staying with this abusive man. You're teaching them by staying uh, with this man who doesn't have character, who is a thief, who is a... I don't know how to put... All bad things are him. Just try to change, change your lifestyle. Because they, I, I've seen some women, they have become thief because of their men. Majority of women who are in jail, they are there because of their spouses. 
or their lovers. Majority, gross percent, almost 80% of women in jail, they are there because of their men. They are there because of the history of their relationships. You are being with, uh, you are in a relationship with the thief, this man still, 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 and then all of a sudden you find yourself also you, you are stealing. Yeah, they groom you to that. You are so stupid, you will get into that, forgetting that that was not your destiny. Or some women, they, they force themselves to stay in this type of relationship and then at the, end, at the end of the day, they end up going to pastors. Every day you are at pastor's office praying for my man. My man, he will never change no matter the prayers. He will never change he's, if he's not ready to change. You go to, uh, to do juju, voodoo to your man. If he's not changing, why are you spending all your money for that? He will not change. No matter the type of which doctor you'll go, he's not ready to change. He won't change. And sometimes they do change. And guess what? When they change, their family says what? You are like this or you are behaving or this was your character because you are with, uh, you are with this and this woman. Kindly, change this woman. No matter how many kids you have changed this woman, we have a woman for you. This man will do as uh, the parents do, or the parents want, or his family wants. You remain there starting again because of your stupidity. You did not accept change. You didn't love yourself. You are so selfish. You are just uh, thinking of what good is what he was doing to your coochie. You forgot about your kids. Because you living in such type of uh, relationship, when you have kids, you don't care of, uh, about your kids. If you live with a man who beats you in front of your kids and you are still with him, you don't care about your kids. If you live with a man who steals every day or uh, at least per year, he's, in, he's on television two or three times because of stealing, you don't care about, uh, about your kids. In fact, you are not fit to be a mother. My sister, change. Change that man. Assume he's dead. Imagine if this man dies when he does, when he was doing his robbery or he was doing what? All the burden will come to you. From you taking care of funeral because some family are so stupid. They will let you take care of funeral because they will think that, uh, oh, they, in, back in their heads they say that you are eating their son's money. After you've taken care of the funeral or they have stressed you at the funeral, the next thing is the police doing raids here, investigating you there, here and here. Or if you're living with this um, woman who, a man who beats you every day, before you leave him, you have one eye, you have one hand, or you, he has chopped something from uh, your body, or you, you are not even in good terms with your family because of him. Why should you lose important people in your life because of love? Love which is fake. Me and you, we know this love is fake. I was there, I know. Kindly, my sisters, my mothers, if you know you are in this type of relationships, to break this lineage, for our children to change, for us to have a better generation, at least, to have better generation which doesn't know about these things. Kindly, let us change our men. If we, if we, um, we are uh, intending or uh, we have this character of falling in love with bad boys, kindly, my sisters, change. Just try to change. Even if it's a must for you to, to fall in love with one bad boy. Let him live in another town. You live in another town. You just meet when you want him to service you. After that, you don't know him. He doesn't know you. If it's a must. But I don't see if it's a must for you to be with a bad boy. A bad boy will only smear your name. With mud. People know you as so-and-so wife of a terrorist, so-and-so wife of a woman beater, so-and-so wife of, um, how do I say, a thief. Change. Imagine if you live with your kids with a husband who has uh, at least good manners in a way that even if he does these bad ones, but he at least hides himself. Right? If it's to fight, he fights you in the bedroom. No one knows you. it's your own fight. Is at least, for those who it's a must for you to stay with men, is at least like that. Rather than this man who beats you in front of the kids, his character is well known in the, in the society, he's not good. Some women are even embarrassed to say that so-and-so is my man. 
but you are happily living with him. Kindly women, let's change our men for uh let's change our men who have this type of characters for better uh for better generation. Thank you. But I'm so mad. I'm very mad. I'm very mad to women who are living with this type of men. I'm very mad. Thank you for watching. Welcome again. Till next time. Bye-bye.